Um, today is kind of going to be a resolution video with a project pan video mixed in. It will all kind of make sense. First off, I just want to start by saying I hope everyone had a wonderful, fun, and safe New Year's and New Year's Eve. And I hope that 2017 brings everyone positive life experiences. And I personally hope and think that this is going to be the best year for me so far. So I'm going into 2017 with a lot of positivity and good vibes. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who has commented or sent me or told me Happy New Year's. I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me. So um, let's just start off with the Project 12, not 12 pan, I said 12 pan and because I know so many people who do Project 12 pan. Mine is going to be a little bit different because I'm not really putting a number or a goal. It's kind of just a lifestyle change and I know I talked about this in my makeup declutter. It's really being able to look at my makeup when I'm doing it in the morning and just loving every single piece that's in there. So, um... I just made a few goals that are going to help me get towards my goal. So first off is I want to use this up. Um, this is the Hoola um, Matte Bronzer by Benefit. So many people recommended this for me and after Candy Johnson did a video where she said she used four of these in one year, I had to go out and try it. And I just am not in love with it. If you can see, it's not even close to hitting the pan or anything and I never reach for it and I just don't want it to be something that sits in my collection collecting dust. I just want to use it and I just want to be done with it. So this is on my use and get, I don't know, use and get lost, lost, never buy again. Um, the next thing is going to be my um, ombre blush by It Cosmetics. I love this blush and it's not on my list because I don't love it. It's on my list because I've only ever hit pan on one blush my whole entire life and that's um, NARS New Order and I think that I showed that to you guys in a video. I can't remember if I did or if I filmed it and trashed it, which I do a lot, um, but this seems pretty thick, but I just want to hit pan on either side. I tend to stay over in the dark. By the way, if you don't know what this blush is, it's an ombre blush by It Cosmetics. Um, this one is in Sugar Plum, and it's so awesome because it has like the light side and the dark side, and you can stay light to have a lighter blush or dark to have a darker blush or swirl it all together to get like a medium tone blush. I wear it virtually every day. I put it on clients. I absolutely love this. And like my makeup is crappy because it's been on all day but but it's just it's so beautiful and it complements every skin tone I just absolutely love this I recommend it if you need a blush so moving on <laughs> um, the next goal in my the next goal in my resolution sorry I was like really close I was trying to reach for it this is my second time filming this video and I kind of like put stuff away and forgot to re-grab it but I want to incorporate these two things from Urban Decay into my makeup routine more often um this is like this is the heavy metal eye glitter eyeliner thing i really wanted this and i bought it but it pulls really green so i don't wear it that often and i just want to use it up before i buy another one i kind of want the gun metal one now the like silverish blackish one but i just want to use use make a dent in it so I don't feel like I wasted it it is really pretty it's I mean there's nothing really wrong with it I just want to incorporate it more often um and then this is the liquid moon dust which I want to say I talk about this in another video and I was not sure if I was gonna love this and I just recently like yesterday threw away the receipt this is what I bought for my birthday with my birthday coupon and it's just so it is really beautiful and I just don't want it to go to waste. I don't want it to dry up and me just feel like I didn't get my money's worth out of it. So you can apply it like this, super pigmented, or you can take your finger or a brush and kind of buff it out on your lid and it's still just so pretty. And you can wear it 
I've worn it alone, like just put a, like a transition color in my crease and then put this on my lid and I got compliments. People were asking me all day, what are you wearing on your lid? And like, believe it or not, it's this, this tube. Um, so I definitely want to use these and incorporate them more often. I think also on New Year's Eve, if you saw the photos, if you follow my Facebook page, which I'll link down below, which is always linked down below, um, I wore it underneath on my waterline. And it was just really pretty and it looked really pretty in photos so the next thing as I get really close to you guys again you can see my awful skin right now I want to use up all of as I throw them at myself I want to use up all of these eyebrow pencils I talked about this before when I did my makeup declutter that the it cosmetics um, eyebrow pencil in universal taupe is my all-time favorite eyebrow pencil and I would recommend it to anyone because the harder you press, the darker it is. The lighter you press, the lighter it is. So it's universal. Any skin tone can wear it. And it's it, it's just a fine point. So if I love that one so much, why do I have four that I don't love as much? Because I spend too much money on makeup and I'm trying to cut back. So my goal is to use up all of these until they're completely gone and then purchase the it cosmetics and just stick with the it cosmetics from now on and um that's it two of these are mac so when they're used up they can go back to mac which is they have a program where if you have you use up six of their items you bring the packaging back you can pick out a a lipstick this is Anastasia and this is Eyelore this is what I'm wearing today my makeup is not as fresh and as nice as it this morning when I did it at like 9 it's almost it's been 12 hours so I'm running <laughs> running on E so the last thing that oh I did I also wanted to say that there's no lipsticks in this because I am going to do a lipstick declutter I promise I will do it I'm not sure when I will do it because it's just giving me I don't want to say anxiety but I'm looking like literally I'm looking at my lipsticks right now thinking Oh my god, there's so much. It's so, it's actually embarrassing how much lipstick I have because I will never wear all of it. And I just need to sit down and give the product away to other people who will use it before it goes bad. And then just stop buying more and use what I have. And that's like a whole video. It will probably be like 20 minutes worth of film that I'm gonna have to edit. It's just gonna be a disaster. So they're not included in this, but I promise I will film one. Okay, so the very last thing on my goal, well, this is the second to last thing. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is not makeup related, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So as you can see, I know I've showed this a lot. I hit pan on three and I'm close to two more. I wanna hit pan on five of these. Um, in total hit pan like this like really use up five and that I think will encourage me and force me to use some of these other colors that are out of my comfort zone and um, so I want to hit five on this work you know almost completely use up five not even hit pan I want to use up five shadows from here and then I want to hit pan on five of my um, master palette from Anastasia too. So here's this one. It's brand new. If you watch my unboxing video, I got a package video. This is what I got and I absolutely love it. I am, am I wearing it today? Yes. I, on my lids, I have Isabelle. It's kind of like gross now. So I want to hit, so 10 total from both of these. And then I have one more that I just want to start, I want to hit pan on this and I want to wear more of this color. Um, I saw this really cute mermaid look which incorporated this and a light blue and I was like, I'm going to do that all the time. Uh, have I done it once? You tell me. Uh, no. So I want to start using this guy too. Um, I just, I had the biggest realization. I went to get my free birthday gift from Alta, and when I got it, I would digging around my makeup collection I was like I think I have enough Urban Decay eyeshadows to fill another quad okay and first of all I didn't realize that I had this many Urban Decay quads 
I thought I only had two. Uh, I have four. Each Urban Decay lip, <laughs> each Urban Decay eyeshadow is twenty dollars. This is eighty dollars worth of makeup right here. Well, this one was my free birthday gift from Alta. Make sure you sign up for the rewards program, but <laughs> so you get free eyeshadow. If I would have paid full price, which I didn't, I got these two. I bought these two off of someone who got like the big box, the vice box or whatever, the whatever, the safe. So I bought these two cheaper. This one was full price and this one was a birthday gift. If I would have paid $20 for each of these is $80 worth of lips. <laughs> worth of eyeshadow. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, I just had a wake up call. $80. I'm not super good at math, but I paid for this box, which may have came with a free eyeshadow, but it's not in this particular tin. This tin, which I'm sure was $20. I don't remember. This, each one is $20. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, one hundred and twenty dollars $10, $12, $120 worth of eyeshadow right here. Urban Decay. Urban Decay, you owe me. Not to mention, I have every single Naked palette, the Smoky palette, the, <laughs> the Pop Fiction palette, the Electric palette, Urban Decay. You owe me so much. I can't believe it. This was such a shock when I realized this. I seriously never need to spend money on eyeshadow again. And I've cut back so much, but it's still not enough. I need to get some of this product off of my hands and into hands of people who are going to use it and it, that it's not just going to sit around and collect dust. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, my resolution or my goal, well, there was a few, but the ones that I'm going to share with you guys um, that aren't that personal are, is in one year, this year, 2017, I want to end 2017 with a thousand subscribers. I need everyone's help for this goal. My soft goal is to hit a thousand in six months. Um, but definitely by the end of the year, I want to be at a thousand subscribers. So any little thing that you guys can do, if you can comment, if you can like, if you can share, if you can tell your family to watch me or your friends or just tell me what video you want me to make for you. Just would help me out any amount you can. Facebook and YouTube work off of an algorithm based on how many likes, comments, and shares you're getting. And the more of those I get, the better my channel and faster my channel will grow. I am going to work hard to, produ to produce and to talk, right? better quality for you guys and to really make qual um, quality content that you guys are interested in. So with that being said, I hope that everyone has good resolutions and goals and if you want to com comment them down below, I'd be more than excited to see what you guys have planned for this year. I hope this year is wonderful for everyone. I hope that everyone who had a bad year last year, which I know last year was stressful, has a great year this year. So let's join together, let's support each other, and let's embrace this amazing new year that's coming our way okay so bye for now guys don't forget to like and comment below what you want to see next bye